Hello my friends and this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and my gift to you is another further and much deeper cleansing of the heart. Mm -hmm. Call it you know, um, clearing the pain in the heart or clearing the pain love connection in the heart or clearing you know the rubber bands that restrict your heart from all the trauma so many lifetimes. Um, I have to say, um, you know, my experience in this lifetime, you know, love is the drug. You know, love is the thing that makes everything better, makes everything bearable, uh, but just like any drug, well, you might get used to it, but that's not really the problem. <laughs> you know, generally it's the problem is you're not getting enough of it. And that's what we're dealing here. Yeah. Uh, so, in, in this lifetime, you know, I, you know, you loved many times very deeply. Mm, you know, of course, it's a question of opinion or perspective. And, and you know, when this love you know, I was disturbed, withdrawn, I suffered very deeply, you know, the same effect as on drugs, you know, the problem is, you know, with heroin is not having heroin, love seems to be, you know, the, uh, the uh, drug, so also, you know, I didn't mention this before, but this is not scripted, you know, this is completely just me from the heart, <laughs> My eyes have been bugging me like Wolfgang. You know, yeah, and you know, we know you're German and you are, um, you know, very tied up, you know, very uptight, sorry, you know, kind of anal. And you know, Wolfgang, you're very systematic and, you know, you're so uptight, you know, we could sharpen a pencil in your butt. You know, so, well, here we go. Um, I'm letting go. This is me like letting go. And yeah, my eyes, you know, I have been crying. You know, I've been crying a lot recently. I mean, just in the last hour. Um, because I have been processing, you know, deep pain. You know, deep pain. Around it. And of course, I understand. You know, if I experienced, you know, you probably experienced this too. And this is... Um, you know, the experience I like to share with you. Mm -hmm. um, I have access, you know, to deep love in this lifetime. I, I put a lot of time and effort into it. But whenever I experienced, you know, there was always this pain mixed into it. You know? This pain of, at least not with source that much, you know, with absolute source, you know, what you may call God. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, the absolute source, you know, nobody, nothing, no being beyond and behind. Mm -hmm. uh, there, this pain is not there, but with everything and everybody else, there's always this sweet pain symphony. You know, like you want to look into the moon and drink whiskey pure, you know, and maybe listen to country music <laughs> or some schmaltzy uh, music. And uh, when you look at it, you know, uh, many of those love songs, you know, are about the pain of rotten love. Mm -hmm. And so many of my past life regressions, you know, are about the pain of love, you know, the pain of love. So I'm realizing, you know, that there is so much pain in our hearts. And in my opinion, my just humble opinion, you know, the more we let, can let go and have this pain cleansed and these aspects of us that got stuck in this trauma of this pain, the more we can get this cleansed, you know, the more pure, you know, the love is going to be, you know, that we experience. And um, I'm not just going into, you know, natural duality, you know, male, female, they got to balance out, you know, of course that has to be there, but... Uh, ultimately, I have to say, 
you know, for me and my clients, you know, that come to the, you know, when we come to the higher levels, it is, you know, the best is source love. You know, and everything else is kind of, you know, not as good, not as reliable, not reliable. You know, and, but, you know, it's damn awesome too. You know, and I also have to say, that I had aspects of mine that were very, very devout you know, and devoted to source love. And they took severe vows not to, you know, get distorted and take the love from humans, you know, from another male or female, you know, depending on their in body type. And they they maintained their vows, you know, it was a great sacrifice and it set up a really needless a neediness, you know, a neediness, a neediness, a neediness, a longing for. And of course, you know, when everybody knows when you become clingy and have this desperation for love, you know, we start running away. <laughs> yes, and so, you know, this aspect had to be liberated and um, there was another thing. You know, I had promised the goddess great severe vows to assist safe the goddess aspects when they're stuck. But man, I didn't want to get that pain that comes with that. You know, I don't want to feel all this pain. You know, this also comes with love. That you feel the pain, you know, that other people, you know, had attached to love. You know, and I have to say, you know, that we are stuck in these bodies. And we are lucky we can love somebody. You know, many of the had incarnations where we just stuck somewhere and there was nobody to love. And maybe even with lowered expectation, there was no chance. Hopeless. You know, what a wasted life, but, you know, even if we try to love, you know, we love the bad boy, you know, the alpha male or, you know, the top female, you know, or whoever put that spell onto you, you know? and, oh God, you know, it's just, a, you know, a source of luge for the dark side. In a luge, I mean suffering, you know, that they enjoy, you know. I mean, as much as, you know, love brightens your day, you know, releases all the good hormones and good drugs, you know, in your whole body, you know, the best stuff there is. Uh, you know, it has been persecuted or stunted in a way we are all stunted perfection you understand stunted perfection you know if if we had all this potential when we came in here but then of course you know mama maybe you know wasn't ready to get pregnant and daddy was very angry and just barely hanging on making a living and there were five other siblings vying for attention and, you know, and on and on and on. And, you know, and we had to divide our love. We didn't get the attention and, and we had all kinds of programming you know, of not being perfect, of need and want and dissatisfaction and so on. So, what I realized you know, it is looking into my heart, you know, and cranking up the love in your heart. It's like cranking up the voltage or amperage on a circuit board. You know, it brings out, you know, the, the darkness. You know, it uh, the weak spots in the circuit board get hot. So it brings out, you know, the darkness around love. You know, so. 
going deep and cranking out my love resource. You know, all this stuff is coming up. Where there's still some garbage around love, some unresolved issues. And not just humans, you know, it's just also from other lifetimes on top of it. From other lifetimes. You know, I mean other races. You know, the Kem, the Long Skulls, the Atlanteans, you know, you might call them. And maybe we were Anunnaki or E.T., Plenian or this or that. You know, um, or gods or half-gods. Uh, there was a lot of going on, you know, about attachment and love. But of course, mostly for us humans here right now that we are processing. Yeah. So love is a bit of sweet symphony. As soon as you find it, um, you know, so much stuff starts surfacing. You know, fear around losing this love. And in how many lifetimes did we lose love? In how many lifetimes? In, in how many life? How many times in this lifetimes? You know, thought you loved very deeply and then it was gone. Somebody else came along, it didn't work out. Or it was just all mediocre stuff. You know, maybe you never experienced falling. This kind of passion. Or maybe you experienced too much of it, you know, and you're sick and tired of it. So there's this um, concept about um, it's this love pain conditioning. You know? Where, first of all, you know, whenever there are very extreme emotional things happening, you know, you know there are some imprints. You know, the high speed camera in our subconscious is, you know, paying attention and taking notice, and it will affect our future life. You know, whenever it gets intense. Um, so, you know, in my opinion, the most intense moments are love, and then of course also pain, you know, whether that's physical pain or emotional pain. And of course, you know, losing this love causes a lot of self withdrawal. So we're having, you know, a pain love mix. And look at the pop culture, country music. You know, any other things, you know, lots of love music in the sad, 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 sad stuff. So we have this love pain, you know, connection. So whenever, you know, that we experience love, it may be fresh, it may be pure. By association, just like by smell or by the music. You know, all the other disappointment, fear, the situation. On Maybe you lost love in other lifetime. Mm -hmm. When there was war, it never came back. When there was another woman or another man, it never came back. When there was disease, they were gone. Or when you were rejected, or you were the stable boy or the maid. And that could never be fulfilled. It's all those pains, all those pains, all those pains. Where this was connected. So we ask absolute source. Absolute source. Nobody, nothing above and behind. You know, to help us. To help us, you know, clear this deep pain in us. So this mirror. You know, this lens of love, it's connecting us with absolute love, with absolute source. It can be cleansed, you know, it's not being contaminated by these bad men. Please, 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 disentangle the pain from the love. Please. Please help us in this. Uh, uh,
you just agree or not. And smile, mm -hmm. smile, 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 smile. And we invite all the spirit guides and other earth, the solar system. Mm -hmm. And the highest aspects of ourselves that are actually beyond the matrix. You know, that look into this matrix, this reality that are not caught in Maya or the illusion. We call those aspects, in, you know, also our friends that are illuminated, you know, that are not stuck in these different matrices, harvesting systems of the gods and others. Mm -hmm. We ask them to assist us, to help us now. Amen. And just nod your head and smile. Amen. And we ask the Absolute Source to make sure that everything that happens in from this session here is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benefits. Nod your head and smile. And we also now ask that any sabotage that you know, blocks us from the access to our proper soul, whether it's so through programming, through any of our you know, bodily systems, whether it's Nadi, Meridian Chakra, you know, Kundalini, Pineal Gland, you know, all these systems, you know, they can of course be plugged, they're gateways. And so we ask no absolute source to make sure that they cannot be used to sabotage, you know, and divert us into any false reality in heavens anymore. Um, um, um. Mm -hmm. And we ask that we be completely connected you know, through this portal in our heart, this absolute source with the love the programming of absolute source you know no interferences no diversion programming mm -hmm, from so-called anunnaki and uh, draco and nibu mm -hmm, and other races that have been tinkering with humanity and our divine codes trying to keep us down trying to keep us socially engineered you know for lower purposes um, um, and smile and start pulling the love, you know, from above your head, you know, and from Mother Earth into your heart. And smile like an idiot, you know, compared to those huge beings. We are just bumbling idiots. Mm -hmm. And we ask that any resistances and sabotage be cleared, and that we completely get hooked up with our high self guidance of our own divine soul, the highest consciousness. Um, um. And make sure you close your eyes now and relax. And now we give our body permission to clear any tension that our body is still holding. Ah, just relax your face especially the space around your eyes. And relax the ring muscle of your mouth. Let go of your tongue. And relax your jaw muscle. Imagine that all this tension just flows into the earth. Slowly, but surely. And now we also start feeling how our chest cage is relaxing. 
especially from the bear. This energy just seems to be flowing off you. Just every inhale, you become lighter now. And with every exhale, you clear more tension from your back. And so fast as you've never done before. And you let go of all the tension in your pelvic area that you didn't even know was there. And now smile into your right leg and let go of it. Let it just melt into the earth. Smile into your left leg. Let that also dissolve and sink into the earth. And you might want, if you can, put your tongue to the palate. You know the top point, not behind the teeth. That's no. You know the top the cupola, the top of the cupola there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deep, relaxed breathing. Your body will show you how to do it perfectly. And we do not allow any negative energies or negative entities to occupy our space now until further notice. Amen. And we ask our high self to also release any disconnects from our place where you're living. Amen. And while this is going on, ask, did you have any disconnects, any ghost at your place of living, yes or no? And now we also ask our high self and spirit guides to raise the vibration in our place to optimal beneficial levels for you. Amen. And we keep our spirit guides busy. Now we ask them, and our high self too, to update and heal our inner child, our inner teen, our female high self, our male high self, and our crystal self. Amen. Just agree. And yeah, you will feel now the shift in your energies you know, towards feeling more whole, feeling more wholesome. Mm -hmm. It will gradually go over your whole body. Just smile as much as you can and enjoy it. Embrace it. Mm -hmm. Your whole vibration is going to go up. And we also request a healing for our spirit guides and then an update for them and maybe even a shift change. Our spirit guides, um, they come for a certain frequency with a certain skill set and we have been advancing hopefully and many of them are sick and tired, they want to move on, you know, so this would be retirement for those or moving on. And there are new one, you know, more specialized in what where you are now that wanna come in. So we give them permission now. Of course, all under the supervision of our high self. Um, uh, uh. And smile and should be kicking in now.
Mm -hmm. And if you want, you can lay your hands on, on your sternum and um, slightly massage, um, especially where the ribs attach to the sternum, the spaces in between can be quite painful. And you may be able to um, prevent a heart attack even if you find pain areas there, but it can also be very, very soothing mm -hmm. and clear a lot of pain um, that might be uh, coming up. All right. Um, pull in the love from heaven and earth into your heart with your breath. Mm -hmm. Imagining chi or being like instant smoke, you know, helps to a certain degree. Um, for myself, I feel it. So it's, you know, focusing on the feeling seems to be more important for most people than trying to see it. Mm -hmm. The more you feel it, probably the more it is there. <laughs> so the intent again is to clear all the pitfalls around love. And especially clear any love and pain connection, you know, association. As soon as there's love, there's also the pain there. Because we never maybe had love without pain. And, you know, and clear also all these uh, little stabs, these little rubber bands around the heart from all the disappointments of our heart. Mm, the more we can do this, probably the better um, we will feel. And our intention is also, dear spirit guides and high self, to come to the highest root cause of our trauma around love and dissolve this or clear it or have insight around this issue so we can advance uh, more spiritually. Um, and first of all, um, let's just ask our high self, um, is our inner child, is it very needy for love? Yes or no? And let me just explain. Um, for most people, a yes. Um, a good code is when your energy goes from the heart up to the head. Upper the feeling, feeling like this. And a no is more like a feeling from the heart to the feet, like a bummer feeling, feeling like that. Mm -hmm. Again, also if you're not mortgage in the house here or buying a new car, um, so just flow with it. Right. So this year in our child, very needy for love, yes or no. And if you got a yes, well, let's just ask the unicorns and let's hope you're in good standing <laughs> with them. And I have a video about clearing this. If you're not in good standing, but we ask the unicorns and our spirit guides and high self to um, you know, get a healing for the inner child. So this neediness is not there anymore. Um, we just give permission. Wow, yeah, it's already kicking in. <laughs> and uh, what you're hearing here is um, Wolfgang giggling on sheet. <laughs> ah, yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, this little guy needed it. Mm -hmm. So we are very grateful for this. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, and keep on feeding that inner child with love. Of course, I have inner child meditations that you should like, check out. And while this is still going on with the inner child, let's ask, um, how um, needy is our inner teen? Also very needy. Mm -hmm. Probably also especially from the storm and drunk time. A 
called uh, puberty and um, so uh, we request a healing for our inner teen uh, from our high self spirit guides and uh, unicorns mm. Now the effect should be kicking in, mm -hmm. so keep on smiling and breathe deeply if you can to appreciate mm -hmm. what you're getting. So having a thank you or I love you in your mind will really help in these healing processes. Mm -hmm. Or just being in this vibration of love, this being, being centered in your heart and breathing through your heart, I mean in your imagination and smiling. Ah, well, how about um, needy adults? <laughs> um, um, let's ask, how much is your adult self a needy for love? Mm -hmm. And we give our spirit guides and high self a permission and to heal these aspects, you know, this neediness in ourselves too. Amen, amen, amen. And let's just cut to the question. Um, you know, have you lowered um, your expectation? Maybe not far enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are like a seven and you're just looking for a nine. Mm -hmm. Is that the fact? Yes or no? So uh, mostly for women, you know, they're coming with, or they think they're coming with an expiration date mm -hmm. and they'll have to go on sales, you know, around 40 and uh, that's not funny. And um, so um, this could create, you know, a certain neediness like having to jump on the last chopper out of Vietnam, and which of course is quite a repellent for men. Um, so. Um, is this the case with you? You know, are you um, running out with your expiration date? Yes or no? Yeah, let's just, you know, ask some more question to your subconscious or high self. Do you think, you know, you're ugly and therefore needy, yes or no? Do you think that you are too poor and therefore not deserving, yes or no? Do you think that you are too weak or incapable to attract a, a proper person, yes or no? Do you think that you need a better job or status to attract love, yes or no? Do you think that if you would be spiritually more advanced that you would attract love then, yes or no? And um, maybe in some lifetimes in the past you made vows of renunciation and not wanting love anymore, maybe because it hurts too much. And then, of course, you're lonely and needy from those lifetimes. Um, is this affecting you? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. 
button and we give her a high surf and spirit guides permission to clear these uh, past lifetimes, help him to elevate and to clear those patterns from our conditioning all the way down to the genetic code. Um, And um, this happened mostly in past lifetimes, you know, where people were very landlocked and trapped, so to say. You know, maybe you could move two villages out and that was it, otherwise you got robbed or it was very risky. Mm -hmm. So, or you were on some kind of island and then of course the gene pool or dating pool was very, very small. So, um, do you have lifetimes where you were landlocked, trapped, and very needy for love and affection? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we also like <laughs> to have that trauma cleared now. Dear spirit guides and high self and whoever can help for the highest good, of course. Um, And this comes across my table a lot. Um, there were people, they were married or bound, you know, um, too impotent, rigid, or uninterested partners. You know, many times even emotionally crippled partners. And, uh, you know, had a great neediness, so to say. And you may have always wondered, you know, while your mom was always in such a weird mood sometimes, until you found out that your dad maybe was impotent, which would explain a lot, seeing the whole thing with new eyes and being able to forgive. So, have you or your partner maybe been, you know, bound to somebody impotent, frigid or untrusted and are needy because of this? Yes or no? Yeah, we also ask our spirit guides to send those help, liberate them, bring them into the heavens with their loved ones, and so on. You guys know what to do. Um, and of course, the staple of neediness is not having received enough love and from your parents. You know, maybe mommy was too much involved with the drama of survival or her husband or no husband. And, you know, you never got that love, that coziness, you know. And um, so here you are in search of the eternal buzz of love and coziness. And I have to say, oh my God, these girls, they got groped. And... Of course, then there was also the confusion of lust versus love. They wanted love. The guys, you know, um, responded with lust. Um, very confusing. Um, so, um, do you still carry trauma from this kind of stuff? Yes or no? Yeah, so we like to have all these aspects <laughs> now reunited with the real loved ones that they had, you know, given a vision quest about where this came from, this incarnation, you know, which came from karma from other lifetimes, what was volunteered for before incarnation, and of course the manipulation of the dark side, spells, curses, vows, and sabotage. Mm -hmm and help to forgive and then clear whatever keeps them trapped and bring into the love and light. Amen. And now we talked already about the expiration date that certain people um, <laughs> see themselves under and um, actually one client um, you know confessed to me that she was you know afraid uh, you know about her future 
because her youth was going. And um, I advised her to start developing a personality and she did not take that joke or she did not like that reality, <laughs> I have to say. So, um, is it time for you um, to develop an attractive personality so you not um, depend too much on your facade that probably starts crumbling, yes or no? And so we asked our spirit guides and high self you know, to clear those programming that f make you focus on the external and make you focus no more on the internal attractiveness that automatically will reflect outside. Amen, amen, amen. You know, or you may have to develop a taste for bingo or your lonely full moon nights, right? So, in some traditions, um, you know, they say that you supposed to focus on your heart, and on others, you know, onto the third eye, and on others, of course, onto the Kundalini. And, <laughs> you know, um, you might wonder, you know, um, what you should do. Well, you choose for yourself, but I also have my opinion. So, the Kundalini is definitely, you know, the highway of energy that you need mm -hmm. to get anything going. You know, the humfta, the gas in your light, in your life. And generally, you have to clear your root chakra nicely and the Kundalini will work, in my experience. Um, you know, no big deal to get that started, in my experience, you know, with clients, no big deal. Um, so, but you need this extra energy, you know, to um, juice up your heart initially. It's like a primer. Mm -hmm. And then also with this Kundalini, you can juice up or cheer up or activate your third eye. Basically, your brain. Mm -hmm. You can keep it focused, but, you know, your brain has to be all jacked up. <laughs> you know, the whole neighborhood. Yes. And, uh... Mm -hmm. And then once you you know you open your crown chakra, you're connected with your heavens, with the higher dimensions. But then you can also you know access the portal in your heart to source. And this is where the real gateway is, the portal to source in the heart, or maybe even your higher heart. It's a little higher than the. Um, physical heart uh, up on the sternum. Uh, my clients uh, know what I'm talking about and um, so ultimately residing in your heart, not in your third eye is my philosophy. Mm -hmm. From there you have the love and of course your crown chakra should also be open and your grounding should also be open and your kundalini can be running but once you know your portal in your heart is open the Kundalini kind of steps more into the background. You know, you have a, I would say, higher source of energy. You know, so they're all very good and all needed. Anyhow, um, so, um, we asked now, um, do you have any blocks in your heart um, that need some special attention? A yes or no? Um, should this be done in a separate uh, past life regression? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And if it not needed, we ask that this one, this lifetime, or those lifetimes be cleared now. Um, um, um. So, as a male in a modern society, it is your thankless task to have to approach uh, ladies and risk your job or your reputation or your self-confidence, you know, expressing <laughs> your interest, you know, for them or even confessing your love and attraction and attachment to them. And uh, that didn't always go over well. Sometimes we maybe even got punished or fired or even killed. 
Um, you know, at least in this lifetime, probably just embarrassed or rejected. And uh, so there might be all kinds of uh, blocks, you know, from vows never to do it or, you know, punishment or other things in our heart and in our throat that prevents us, you know, to express naturally our love, our affection, mm -hmm. or so to say, come on <laughs> to somebody in a decent way, you know, without the cups being called on you. Mm -hmm. So first of all, are there any blocks like this? Yes or no? And we like to have those cleared for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes, you know, and we, uh, of course, want to make sure we ask that we only express ourselves when it is appropriate. Um, um, um. And, you know, of course, rejection, um, you know, um, definitely hurts and there is a lot of pain that has been locked away because we didn't want to face it, you know, got drunk. <laughs> Rather lay in a ditch having a good time than dealing with this pain. Uh, so, you know, is there still some stuff left? Oh God, please, please clear this. Please clear this from our energy fields. Amen, amen, amen. Now, uh, many of you listening to this guided meditation here have been in past lifetime you know, very sincere and, and employed themselves as monks or renunciants. And <clears throat> of course, also in many cultures, you, know, you were kind of forced <laughs> into this situation too. So it was a mixed bag, you know, of motivation there. For some it was a survival thing, and for others it was a spiritual calling. And I've seen this um, quite a lot in my lifetime. You know, whether it's somebody taking sannyas, you know, basically the vows, you know, to be a monk, you know, for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. I've seen many of them, you know, falling down, especially when it was given to younger men. And younger men, I, I would say, 40 and down. And, um, you know, they just thought they had it, you know, they got it or they had it overcome or they just wanted to get away from their wives and all that trouble that they were entangled with and thought this was a way out and not realizing that they haven't developed their relationship with the goddess or with their male high self, you know, to get those female or male energies that are needed, you know, to be balanced. Mm -hmm. Or you may say, I'm not having a proper connection to source, you know, where you get these balanced energies. And um, so when you fell down and went back from this, you know, there was shame, of course, you know, um, and there was a lot of pain around this, you know, losing face, you know, breaking vows, etc. And, you know, not only your only shame, but also the shame of your spiritual communities. I've seen it, and I have seen a lot of gurus fall down too, you know, due to sex. Uh, sometimes there was, I would say, a lot of magic involved with that sex, you know, to glamorous in that sense. Mm -hmm. And a lot of sabotage as such. So, um, you know, this was of course also very devastating for their disciples. So again, a lot of shame around this, um, you know, probably from this in past lifetimes. Now, do you still have any shame, pain? you know, from these kind of um, situation and longings, of course, longing to, yes or no. And so we definitely ask, you know, that they are all be brought to the Arcturian Love Feeling and Ascension Temples and, you know, get educated you know, of where these tendencies come from, um, also show them the kinks in their philosophy, mm -hmm. and help with forgiveness, reunite with lost loved ones, and bring into the heavens. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. 
and definitely clear uh, their longing. You know, and all the, the suppressed emotions. You know um, that they couldn't deal with from this lifetimes. We do not want to continue this to continue anymore. Um, um, And as we are talking around pain and love, and pain is not having love, is, oh my god. Mm. <laughs> you probably notice um, when there is a, a date or an appointment and the person is not showing up or the person is late, there is this really long suffering there, really deep suffering. And uh, my opinion is in many lifetimes. Mm -hmm. We or our loved one, you know, we make vows to come back, you know, uh, or promise to come back, or we're expected to come back, whether they were fishermen, you know, or in the merchant marine, or whether they were hunters, or going to war, you know, going to war a lot never came back, mm -hmm. or trade routes like caravan. A Viking, you know, just going for some short rape and, and, and <laughs> supply run, um, you know. Um, so this happened to many women, especially also children, you know, this long waiting and praying, never knowing if they make it or not. And believe me, in those times without a husband or protected, you know, it was a hard life. Mm -hmm. So we like to have you know, all these aspects from us cleared. You know, those aspects that are still stuck, reunited with lost loved ones, and then shown why this happened, help with forgiveness, clear the magic too that keeps them trapped and bring into the heavens. Amen, amen, amen. Keep on smiling. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot behind this um, kind of karma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure you still reside in your heart and smile. And of course, we come to cursing. So, cursing happened for a lot of reasons around love, you know, especially jealousy or betrayal. You know, imagine, you know, a married woman uh, gets a husband taken away from, you know, a younger woman or like that. You know, <laughs> uh, wherever love is involved, you know, there's a lot of passion and definitely a lot of uh, cursing. Mm -hmm. So let's just go through. Um, have you been cursed or cursed others that love will bring pain? Yes or no? We ask for forgiveness and we forgive those that did us and we ask that this be cleared and any disconnect stuck around this issue is also be brought to the heavens after their clearing. Um, have you been cursed that when you love somebody it will be taken away? And yes or no. And we like to have a clearing of those curses too. Um, um. And there's another variation. It's kind of, you know, have you been cursed? Did you get teased? You know, and when you're just about to be happy, again, it gets taken away, you know, for maximum pain. Yes or no. And again, entities and spells and curses enforcing this we like to have taken away. If there's a problem, take it to the courts of divine justice now. Um, um. And um, have you been in this lifetime or in a past lifetime the plaything of women or men, you know, as a standby for a booty call and a lot of suffering due to this? Yes 
no. And in many incarnations, um, you know, around love and sex, we were tied down and trapped. You know, whether you got um, tied down to a pole or a slab of stone as a sex slave, or you got trapped in an unfulfilling marriage and relationships, and you know, many marriages used to be for survival. <laughs> not for love, you know, or certain arrangements. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's just still pain around this. Yes or no. And of course, desperation for love. Yes or no. Yeah, if you like to have, you know, these aspects also cleared and if necessary, any pimps and perpetrators brought to the courts of divine justice so they can be forgiven. And then all these aspects of us liberated. Um, 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 um. And um, another big one, big, 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 big one, is affecting the heart. Besides getting stabbed into, you know, stabbing is one thing, but, um, you know, uh, when you get your chest cut open and the heart, you know, taken out and then thrown somewhere else, you know, that causes what's called phantom pain. You know, and phantom pain in terms of heart means um, there's a certain disconnect, a certain deep wounding of the heart um, that is different than just getting stabbed. It's just different and I would say worse. Mm -hmm. And so it has been, of course, done in very many of the demoniac black magic ceremonies. Uh, you know, like the Maya and others, you know, top of the pyramid and your heart gets ripped open and then tossed down the stairs and then your body follows. Mm -hmm. I mean, though these people are not only trapped by demoniac beings, then their life force, and it's, um, they also have, you know, love problems. So, has something like this happened to you in past lifetimes, yes or no? Yeah, we like to have those aspects liberated. And, you know, even from the clutches of the demoniac beings, they have got sacrificed to liberate them, reunite with lost loved ones, bring them home, clear any spells, curses, return stolen life force. Mm -hmm. and help the priest to see the errors of their ways or take them to the courts of divine justice. Um, 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 now, have you been a priest in past lifetimes doing this kind of stuff to others? Yes or no? Yeah, if you have been, um, that's quite a big thing. And so, uh, well, we ask that, you know, these victims that are still stuck also get the help and um, that whatever clutches your aspect is in with the demons. You know, we like to have that brought to the courts of divine justice. We ask you to ask back for forgiveness to the victims. Mm -hmm. And you know, vow to be nice, <laughs> I would say. Mm -hmm. And then ask that this be cleared now for the highest good. Um, uh, um, and you might have to do a special session for something like that. Yeah. Now, um, of course, with all these um, issues around love, ultimately, you're supposed to love yourself and also love souls. Mm -hmm. That is, you know, the ultimate lesson it always comes down to. If you have this neediness for love, you know, from others, you know, ultimately it gets always frustrated because 
you know, you're supposed to love yourself. Once you start loving yourself like your best friends, not like a narcissist, <laughs> no, like your best friend, you know, um, once you love yourself, um, then others, you know, will see that value in you and start and loving you too. Um, and then ultimately, you know, you have to love the source. Um, that is the most reliable <laughs> aspect of love, I would say, the highest. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the worldly love, you know, generally um, comes. Of course, in this lifetime, you know, we kind of work out all the bad karma and <laughs> try to dissolve it. So this is a working incarnation, not a pleasure incarnation, where you have your ideal love relationship. You know, this is more a lifetime where we clear all the non-so-ideal <laughs> love relationships, um, you know, um, with all the flaws. Yeah, um, um, um. Now, in Hindu style, you will see all the gods um, with their female aspect. Mm -hmm. Shiva, mm -hmm. with um, Parvati, and Lord and Vishnu, you know, they all have their um, aspect, their female aspect. I, I don't know about Buddha. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, so, of course, you know, we all have our male and female aspects, um, especially on the higher planes, you know, where we become androgynous, where this polarization that's brought by estrogen and testosterone, you know, is really not needed anymore because you are in a light body. Mm -hmm. And these conditionings do not apply anymore. But, you know, as a human we uh, sometimes really try to separate ourselves, you know, from the female aspect, and especially in some of those male-oriented monastic tradition, and of course, which isn't healthy. And I have come across quite some aspects that are really craving the goddess aspect because they did very, very staunch vows of celibacy and and so on, and um, basically, you know, rejecting the female aspect in a way, you know, and probably throwing out the baby with the bathwater. So, has something like this happened to you? Yes or no? And we ask that those aspects, you know, be safe now by the goddess. Maybe they need to see some male aspects of the divine to tell them it's okay. <laughs> and then help them with the healing now. Um, uh, um. So, uh, I would say in most of my love relationships, <laughs> in my lifetimes, you know, ultimately there was separation or disappointment sooner or later, uh, most of the time it was sooner, and many times uh, we felt it was too soon, but the candle had, say, had burned very brightly uh, most of the time on both ends, and um, so, uh, but there was always pain, you know, if it wasn't, I mean, there was a, a period generally where there was only love and joy, and then there was this transition period <laughs> where it got mixed, and you know where you already could see uh, this is gonna go on the down you know this is not gonna continue and then you have the pain of separation you know? so if you call this a three-step program the last two steps are filled with pain so there's a lot of association with love and pain and so probably from so many lifetimes. So please, 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 you know, our spirit guides, our high self, please, please clear you know, any conditioning um, that leads us to this and also uh, the accumulation and association, you know, of pain and love. You know, clear the energy and clear the mental and other conditioning. Amen. Amen. Amen.
-hmm. And so uh, we may even have aspects, you know, that got cursed or for some reason are lonely, love stuff. You're not going crazy, you know, looking for love, maybe looking for lust, but the love stuff. Do we have any ghosts still around? Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we ask that there be sent help. Please reunite them with ones that they loved in their lifetime. And, uh, you know, maybe from the astral plane or somewhere else. Or hook them up with the love. You know, that's your problem. <laughs> Just be a guide. Please deal with it and take care of it. You know, you're so merciful and kind. Um, um, um. Now we have been, you know, probably, you know, clearing a lot of trauma around love and there's a certain vacuum. So let's have some joy around love. Mm -hmm. Joy and levity, you know, easy playful, mm -hmm. not attachment, <laughs> not attachment and greed and clinging, no, no, easy joy, you know, there's plenty of love around. Mm -hmm. And also, if you can, you know, activate our higher heart, mm -hmm. some of them call it the unified chakra. Mm -hmm. Start activating this, you know, if you're ready, or get us ready, or we give permission, of course you do the timing, dear High Self. Uh, then. So let's um, clear some more stuff while this is going on. Mm -hmm. So a lot of slaves, you know, and um, let's say prostitutes, um, they're all, you know, not only, you know, got to beating and you know, set examples and you know, threatened with torture, etc. Um, you know, also magic was done to them. So many times, um, you know, the slavery itself closed their heart, or the treatment with which they were treated closed their heart. And then also the magic, um, you know, to keep them trapped and bound. Um, you know, close their heart, close their neck. So there's lots of chains and shackles around heart and neck from these slavery times in different traditions also. So we like to have those cleared, you know, whether we were slaves or slavers. And then the respective parties brought to the Samson temples or to the courts of divine justice and process this there. Um, um, and, um, you know, um, there might even have been some spells to make you, you know, um, very lusty, like um, maybe unfulfilled, like a nymphomaniac. You know, that would be probably something that pimps would do. And uh, which is, of course, um, you know, quite some suffering for the person. So we like to have those spells and curses cleared. Um, 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 And um, there might even be some blocks, you know, um, that um, between the lust and the heart, you know, your divine, you know, chakras, you know, your crown chakra and above. Um, for all kinds of reasons, you know, anything from trauma, torture, accidents, you know, to magic or entity attachments, but we like to have those cleared now. Um, 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 and the ideas, the more specific you are, you know, the better it can be done. And then many times, you know, this suffering around love, you know, comes from, um, let's call it magic implants into your hearts or into your sexual organs. And let's just see if it pings. Um, do we have any spikes there? Yes or no? Okay, clear. 
you need gargoyle type beings yes or no clear any chains please clear spirit guides any rings please clear spirit guides any plates is clear. Mm, any shields? Your yeah, shields are your favorite. Mm. Um, yeah, make sure you clear them all. Uh, uh, um. Any reversals? You know, that basically, you know, turn negative to positive, you know, within duality. We ask that those be cleared. And of course, all these things that we ask to be cleared for us, you know, we also ask that to be cleared for those that we did it to in other lifetimes. How about dark portals? Let's have those clear. Ooh, yeah. And how about dark courts? Let's have those clear. And please make sure, dear spirit guide, that they cannot be reattached from that person anymore. Amen, amen, amen. And there will be more. And, uh, more specific, um, are there any vampiristic cords attached to you? Yes or no? Let's have that clear too. Mm -hmm. And vampires taken to the courts of divine justice. Amen. Yeah, is there any type of chaos programming, especially around your heart, love, and your sexuality? Yes or no? Yeah, let's have that clear too. And uh, programmers brought to the courts of divine justice. Um, um, And, um, you know, if you still have um, vows not to love anymore, let's see, check, uh, do you have those? Yes or no? Well, let's have all the resistances to love cleared then. Um, um. Now, this is um, kind of more advanced stuff. Now, this is not just some normal women or men that are you know, lonely and not having somebody to hug. You know, there were the very advanced aspects of us in past lifetimes. You know, like a yogi that could flap their kundalini, you know, throughout the seven heavens. You know, or, you know, around or through anybody, you know, they would chose to. But there was nobody else around, you know, that could do so. You know, so they had all these opulences and nobody <laughs> to play with. You know, very lonely, very sad. So, do you have aspects like that? Yes or no? And we asked that they be sent their consort mm -hmm. and um, brought to the heavens. And then that this deep need and longing for the perfect qualified consort 
please be cleared from us. So it's not a source of pain. And, um, And we already talked about um, you know, that an obstacle towards receiving love can be because you do not love yourself enough. <laughs> you know, if you can't uh, love yourself, how well, can you expect anybody else to love yourself? I mean, would you have sex with yourself? So, um, Um, do you have enough self-love? Yes or no? So, um, there might be some reason. Um, so, and we asked our spirit guides to clear and liberate any aspects of ourselves that cannot love themselves or send them help. Um, 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 and then clear all these programs, you know, uh, guilt, whatever, that prevents us from loving ourselves. Mm -hmm. Again, this is not a narcissistic love, this is a compassionate love. Mm -hmm. um, um, um. And uh, now let's also request that we experience you know, a love, the most divine love, if possible, in this lifetime. You know, a love that surpasses any other love we have yet experienced, and maybe even make it fun and funny, if possible. <laughs> um, 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 you know, no bleeping melodrama. <laughs> And awesome. So how does it even get better than this? <laughs> what else is possible now? Yes. So we ask that all our spirit guides, you know, be helped to work together. If there's any friction and disagreement this between spirit guides and our different high self aspects, we ask that this also be cleared and that they all be able to love each other and deeply love each other now. Um, um, that should be good. Oh, yeah, that's quite a shift in energy. <laughs> so, um, again, um, you know, being needy for love is. You know, probably a need to love yourself and to love source. So if there are any resistances there, we'd be like to have this cleared now. And you can uh, look into a mirror now, if you want to, or just say it in your mind or see yourself as an inner child or inner teen or an adult in front of you um, you know call forward the aspect that needs um, the love the most that's needy the most um, and on the inhale you take the love from heaven and earth into your heart Feel yourself with that love, and on the exhale, send it to this aspect, and in your mind, think, I love. Let's just do this meditation, smile like an idiot, breathe like a bellow, mm -hmm. and keep sending this love. Mm -hmm. In your mind, go ahead like me, I love you. 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 I love you.
I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And now we ask the High Self and Spirit Guides to reintegrate with us any soul fragments of ours that can be reintegrated. Mm -hmm. And then once reintegrated, update them, these aspects, to the latest Divine Blueprint and Code. Mm -hmm. And then and synergize everything with each other in our own systems and then bring our own levels to optimal energy standards. Um, um, um. And then surround them with protective love and light of source that completely transmutes any darkness and illusions within and around us. Um, um, um. And one, two, three, you're fully grounded back in waking day consciousness or depending on your intent, um, you keep on snoozing have a deep, deep relaxing and healing sleep. Mm. Well, welcome back to Bacon Day Reality. Um, you know, please, uh, as it's fresh in your mind, you know, feel free to share your experiences. You know, it really helps. And I thank you so much. Also, uh, thanks for all the thumbs up you're giving me for my work here. And of course, um, many of these aspects are kind of difficult to cover in a shotgun type meditation such as this, you know, where you move on after about 5-10 seconds. You know, some of these issues have to be definitely explored uh, much deeper to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. uh, but these, uh, you know, are pretty good you know, to um, get some kind of insight, to get some kind of clearing, but, you know, it can go a lot better. So again, um, you look at my other videos, um, you know, if you see at the end, um, there's about, uh, what's this, 250, around 300, and uh, if you have been around on this planet, uh, you probably, um, you know, got affected by some of those things um, that need to be cleared. <laughs> you know, just um, go to my channel and see, you know, which titles inspire you. And, you know, go to sleep with them or do, you know, one or, you know, do a few in a week. Mm -hmm. And if you can afford it, you know, I'd definitely take a listen, treat you to this. You know, it's uh, worth the money in most cases. Namaste.